Think you know all about the Founding Fathers? Think again. This is the untold story of the American patriots who helped create a nation. Today, many people revere the Founding Fathers as the OGs of American democracy. Brave and visionary statesmen who declared independence from Great Britain, won the Revolutionary War, and established the United States as a democratic republic. But is that the whole story? Though 39 white men signed the Constitution, historians have never been able to agree on who makes the grade as a founding father and who doesn't. The term founding fathers wasn't even coined until 1916 by 29th U.S. President Warren G. Harding. A popular myth about founding father John Hancock is that he exaggerated his signature on the Declaration of Independence so that English King George III would be able to read it without his spectacles. What's true is that Hancock ran a side hustle as a smuggler to avoid paying taxes to British authorities. And when one of his ships, the Liberty, was seized by British forces, his customers in Boston started a riot. Although Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration that all men are created equal, he owned over 600 slaves in his lifetime and is believed to have fathered six children with a slave named Sally Hemings. The Founding Fathers were famously no fans of monarchical rule, but the second U.S. President, John Adams, wanted people to refer to him as His Highness, and for some inexplicable reason, named one of his White House dogs Satan. So what do you think? Are the Founding Fathers given too much credit? In what ways do we view them differently today?